jewelry combines artistry, craftsmanship, and nature. And really one of nature's gifts to us are the pearl. Really, yes. the oyster's gift to us. Yes. And joining me in the studio today are April Altman and Koji Kawamoto yes. of Carriage Jewelry to talk yes. to us in particular about pearls because we're having a pearl show right now. Yeah, that's right. And yeah. today's the last day of the, the pearl show. Yes, today's okay. my last day. Sad. Yeah. And, and you gave me this beautiful mm -hmm. necklace to wear. Yes. Why don't we start by talking a little bit about this necklace? And, because we're seeing a lot of different diamonds, yeah. or a, lot, a lot of different pearls on this yes. necklace. Yes, so I started making lots of uh, multi-color necklace, necklaces and uh, using uh, all sorts of different color. So this one has Golden South Sea from the Philippines and uh, White South Sea from Australia and then also Tahitian Keshi. So Keshi is a gift from the oyster. So that's something uh, I really want to show you today. And uh, not only this one, I brought so many different color of uh, Tahitian pearls, like pistachio, blue, green. And uh, the thing is, okay, you never know which color is good for you. So I can definitely find you the best ma matching color. Well, let's talk about color yes. a little bit because really when pearls became popular, it was a white mm -hmm. standard mm -hmm. strand. How did we go from that to the variety that we see today? Yes. Okay. Over 100 years ago, so Mr. Mikimoto started culturing pearls in my hometown, Mie Prefecture, Japan, right? And then we started sending our technicians to Australia, the Philippines, and uh, French Polynesia, and uh, in those areas, okay, they have bigger oysters, but like a Tahitian oyster is called black lip oyster. It's got a black or green mm -hmm. color, and an uh, Australian one is a silver lip oyster, and the Philippines, that is a golden lip oyster. So this color comes out naturally out of a much bigger oyster. So the oyster decides. Yes. And the other thing that has really transitioned is it used to be women's jewelry, but you were mentioning that there are a lot of men's pieces that incorporate yeah. pearls. See, I'm wearing uh, my signature piece with a black coat. It's a beautiful uh, olive color Tahitian pearl, right? And even yesterday, lots of men came and I said, I, yeah, they, they yeah. are so happy actually, <laughs> yes. It, it lo and it looks great. It yeah. looks very modern actually. Mm -hmm. Very modern. Yeah. Now, April, you <laughs> also collaborate with Koji. I do. Um, yes. Being an uh, emerging jeweler and establishing myself in Vail, adding pearls to what I'm doing really steps up the game. And before I met Koji, I, like you said, I only knew about the white Akoya pearl that you traditionally see. Mm -hmm. Um, and then meeting Koji, I find out all these different colors and where they're coming from and how they're cultivated, and it's fascinating. So I would recommend anyone wanting to learn about pearls to come and talk to Koji and spend some time in the store. So today is your last day until we see you again around Christmas time. And tell us where your store is so if someone is watching, they know where to find you. Yeah, um, we're right on the corner next to Latour and um, right as you're coming out of the parking structure. So, right in Vail Village. And what will your hours be today? 9 a.m. to, or 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Okay, and when Koji leaves though, does he leave some pearls behind? Absolutely. So, you can still yeah. find the pearls in your store, yeah. just no Koji again until Christmas time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sad. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, so it cannot carry, you know, my uh, products, my merchandise all the way. All, all through the year. Yeah. Right? Koji, yeah, so. April, thank you so much thank for you. bringing in your gorgeous pearls, let, letting me wear some for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, oh. I don't really want to give them back, but thank yeah. you so much. And so Koji will be at Carrots today. Stay tuned. Coming up next, Megan has your weather. Thank you.